Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Good Shabbos everyone Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. So here's what Shabbat is in three words. In Chinese. <laughs> Actual Chinese. Wei Wu Wei. Uh, so some of you know the Chinese. So Wei Wu Wei means non-coercive action. You spend one day of the week not pushing the river, <clears throat> not asserting your will, imposing your vision, <clears throat> trying to force the world, which means the people around you, to do what you want, to get what you think you want. Non-coercive action. I mean, there's all kinds of rules about Shabbat. To me, none of them matter. What matters is spending 25 hours not imposing your will on the world. Just living in harmony with the Tao, with the mother. So that's what we're going to ask you to do. Also, you shouldn't use your phones, don't use your computers, don't turn on the lights, don't drive your car, or way woo way. <laughs> that, that's what, that's what, we're, or at least I'm suggesting that you do. We're going to walk you through Miriam. Uh, Miriam. That is my Jewish name. <coughs> is it? Yeah. Okay, so Miriam bought, Miriam bought what? Um, you mean my mother's name and my father's name? Yeah. Surahana and Itzhak. Okay. So Miriam <laughs> bought Surahana and Yitzhak, who is also a Muslim, is going... <laughs> like, she walked right by me. I thought it was a Muslim. I said, oh, that's... <laughs> So she's going to lead us through the ritual, but we have to set an intention. So we're going to start with setting an intention quietly, you know, each person uh, by yourself. Set an intention. We're going to go through the ritual, and then we're going to invite you to do a blessing exercise, and that'll bring our little service to a close. So the intention. So the work, quote, the non-work is way, 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 non-coercive action. But there may be something more personal to you that you would like to receive as a gift from um, the Sabbath bride. So Shabbat is also a woman. So I don't know what that is. You'd have to decide. You know, what, what do you set, set an intention to receive the gift you're looking to receive. And we'll reinforce that later with the blessing. But set an intention, kavana in Hebrew, to set an intention for something you would like to receive from the Sabbath bride. You, you get the idea? Okay, so just keep that in mind. When Miriam bought Surahana, Surahana Vyitzchak, when Miriam um, takes us through the candle lighting and you're going to close your eyes when you do the candle lighting, right? I'm assuming you're going to do that. Yeah, yeah. well, she is now. <laughs> so, and the reason you do that is because the law says that you can't light a fire on Shabbat. And if you say the blessing, it's Shabbat, and you can't light the candles. And if you light the candles before you say the blessing, then the blessing is extraneous. 
So it's a catch-22. So the rabbis, because we're lawyers, the rabbis came up with uh, a way around this. So what you do is you light the candles and then you cover your eyes so you can't see them. And you pretend, I didn't do it. <laughs> and then you say the blessing and then you take your hands away from your eyes and you go, oh, they're lit and I didn't. So it's this <laughs> gift of light. And then there's a, there's a, a um, yantra kind of thing, a, a physical movement where you're stirring the Shabbat spirit to spread it through the room. It's not like, um, uh, what do you call it? RT? RT or, or, or you know, with, with smoke in, in native tradition. Yeah. You're not taking it onto sage, your yeah. sage, right? It's you're not doing thing. that. You're sending it out. You're sending it out. Anything else you want to add to that? No, thank you. Okay. Then I am Europe. <laughs> So there are three blessings, the candles, the wine, and the bread. Does this sound familiar to you Christians? Yeah. Where do you think you got it? <laughs> you think you made it up? And we never even charged royalties for it. <laughs> so this is a good time to mention that this, this ritual of welcoming the Sabbath as a beloved relative, a, a beloved being, the Shekhinah, the indwelling feminine presence, is available to all of us. So this is not an ex exclusively Jewish ritual. Everybody could use a little Sabbath in their lives. So if there's anything tonight in this ritual that speaks to your heart and that reminds you that you don't have to exert your will on the world once in a while, Please take it with you, adapt it for your own, to the shape of your own life, so that there's some place that you remember that it's not only okay to lay down your burden, it's necessary. That's why it's a commandment and not a polite suggestion from the Holy One. So um, we're going to now cover our eyes lightly with our hands as we sing this blessing. And if you know it, sing it along with us. If not, there's this beautiful tradition in Judaism, the nigun, where you just, just make beautiful sounds come out of your mouth, or not even beautiful, just sounds. <laughs> <laughs> like, like la da 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 You know, it doesn't have to be the right words in Hebrew. It's your heart's language. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Asher kirishanu b'mitzvatah v'tzivonu and everyone sing. Amen. Blessed are you, beloved our God, creator of the universe, who blesses us with your directives and directs us, invites us, your invitations, invites us to kindle the lights of the Sabbath. Amen. Amen. And then you're going to do the start. Oh, and then we will sweep the light. And what we do, what I learned is seven times in honor of each of the seven days of the week that has just passed, letting it all go. and spreading that blessing to the whole world. Chesed, um, metta, loving kindness. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. Peace, peace, peace. So the Sabbath, the, the essence of Shabbat is the feminine, is the Shekhinah. And I'm going to read you a prayer that I wrote to the Shekhinah. And 
invite you to make this part of your kavana, your, your intention for this 25-hour period of laying down our burden. O oh, Shechina, yours is the feminine face of the holy, the luminous moon who lights up the night as we travel from captivity to liberation, the pillar of fire who guides our way home, the cloud hovering over the mountain peaks, living sign that the drought is over. You are the indwelling presence of the divine. Whenever we gather to praise the one, you are here in our midst. When we cry out for justice, you make our hearts tender. When we stand with those on the margins, you make our legs strong. When we create works of art, and parent our children, and harvest our gardens, you guide and sustain us. You are the Sabbath bride, the beloved, returned from exile. You restore balance in our relationships and wholeness to our fragmented souls. You infuse our lovemaking with honey. You fill the cup of our hearts, which tremble with longing, with the wine of your answering love. You are the song of our homecoming. You are the Sabbath queen, the great mother, who sits at the heart of the table, tearing off hunks of the secret bread that contains the exact flavor each of us loves best. You feed us all, the proud and the repentant, the believer and the skeptic, from your own hands. Your unconditional forgiveness dissolves otherness. O oh, Shahina, we are the vessel for your inflowing. Your radiance requires the clay of our embodiment. Your flame burns at the core of the earth. Your warmth penetrates the seedbed and animates the seedlings. You bless the head of every animal and kiss the tear-streaked face of humanity. You are the vision that builds community, and you are our refuge when the fabric of community unravels. Be with us now as we navigate this landscape of mystery where your most cherished attributes, wild mercy and boundless compassion, righteousness and wisdom, seem to be cast aside and trampled by imperious world powers, and we are paralyzed by helplessness. Help us. May we remember you and lift you up. May we recognize your face and celebrate your beauty in everything and everyone, everywhere, always. Amen. Amen. <coughs> And now the blessing of the Kiddush, the, the wine. This is um, pomegranate juice, which I think is so perfect. And Rami will hold up the Kiddush cup with the, the juice. And I will do the blessing of the wine. I was taught at one point by someone, I never even remember sometimes where these transmissions come from, that the empty cup, the Kiddush cup, represents the heart that is longing for God. And the wine represents the immediate, instantaneous quantum response of God's love pouring in to the heart the moment we cry out for God. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech alam, borei pri hagafen. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, beloved our God, who brings forth the fruit from the vine. Good Shabbos, everyone. Afterwards, some people are going to have to help drink.
drink some of this wine. Yeah, I was surprised you poured so much. I know. Well, <laughs> that's also because I was told. Weren't, didn't you grow up with this too? That that's why you have the cup. The, usually, the plate underneath yeah. that you fill. You can do this at home. That you fill <laughs> the kiddush cup to overflowing, right to the top. So we're going to bless the bread, and there's two things I want to tell you about the bread. So one is, the bread is always covered. And I was taught, uh, Mirabai also, we were taught that the reason you do that is to protect the feelings of the bread, because it's always blessed second or third, <laughs> candles, the wine, and the bread, which teaches you two things. One, bread has ears. Because, you know, that's how it hears these, you know, that knows it's second. And second is that if we should take so much care over the feelings of a loaf of bread, how much more care we should take over the feelings of, with the feelings of each other. So we're going to try, Mirabai's going to do the blessing. I can't eat the bread, but she'll eat on, on behalf of all of us. Then what are you going to try to do, pass it? We're going to try. I mean, this is a little complicated, but we'll, we'll break it up into chunks. Well, I will, because you probably can't even touch it. No, I'm not enough. supposed to deal with it. And we'll just spread pieces around, and then you just feed each other. Yeah. So, and here's why. Unless you're gluten-free. So, um, yes, unless you're like me, celiac, and got to avoid the, the bread. But, because some of you go, why doesn't he touch the bread? It's a mystical thing. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I have celiac disease. So here's, here's the midrash, the folk, the folk tale that goes with the bread. <clears throat> in hell, if any of you go to hell, <laughs> right? and according to surveys in the United States, no one believes they're going to hell, but they know a lot of others, people, other people who are. <laughs> so someone's going. But in hell, hell is a banquet. Hell is a banquet with these infinitely long tables, and they're six feet wide, and they're just laden with the best food. It's probably not even kosher, because in hell they don't care. That's <laughs> probably how a lot of them got there in the first place. <laughs> and the only rule in hell is, you can eat as much as you want, but you have to use the utensils that you're given. And the utensils are six feet long. And so in hell, people are filling their forks with all this food and trying to eat, but the thing is too big and they're starving. Heaven is the same banquet. Long table, six feet wide, piled with food. Now it's all kosher in heaven, but piled with food. And the only rule is you have to use the utensils. But in heaven, they figured out that if I can't feed myself, I can feed the people across the table. That's why you feed one another. Don't take the bread and eat it yourself, right? Offer it to somebody else, okay? And then you're supposed to gasp at the beauty of the <gasps> bread. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech alam Chamot zilechem Min charetz Amen, everyone. Amen. And Rami touched me because you either touch the bread um, when you do this together in closer proximity, smaller communities, or you touch someone who's touching the bread. Blessed are you, beloved our God, who brings forth the bread from the land and reminds us that we belong to our mother, the earth. Amen. Amen. So Mirabai is going to, you're going to take some now because you said the blessing, you have to eat something. And then we'll pass it out in a moment, but we're going to end with this blessing practice as the bread will go around. But yes. you need your hands. And if you're holding bread, you won't have your hands. I need some people to come up and take some from me and start. So here's the blessing helping. practice. This is go this could take way too long if you're too chatty. Yes. Yeah, so just free, find free, free. someone to bless just in your general over. vicinity. Yeah, All right. So just quickly over. find someone to bless. So it should be groups of two. If you have groups of three, and there's only one group of three, that's fine. If there's more than one, if there's two groups of three, that's really three groups of two. So get the math right. 
So everyone's got someone they can bless, right? Next part, decide which one of you is person A and which one is person B, all right? That should be the end of the conversation. <laughs> but clearly it's not, all right, but we're gonna try. Okay, so what's gonna happen is person A will bless person B and person B will bless person A, but what are you gonna bless them with? So when it's time to do this, and we'll tell you, when it's time to do this, ask the other person, either based on their intention or whatever it is, with what would they like to be blessed this Shabbat? And then in your own words, bless them. Now, it's not just a simple blessing, it's gotta have some magic to it. So there's a mudra, a hand gesture that goes with it. So, you know, it's, it's this, the priestly blessing. <laughs> so, if you're Jewish, you can do it, it's in your DNA, or if you're a Vulcan, you can do it, it's in your DNA. But and if, you, if you get close, just do the best you can. But the idea is you're gonna take both hands, and you do this, and you put them together, and you get this triangle in the middle. So the triangle is a universal symbol of the feminine, right? So you're, gonna, you're, you're invoking the Shekhinah, you're gonna place your hands on the other person's head unless they say, don't you dare, <laughs> and then you won't, you'll just get close. But you'll place your hands on their head, you ask, you've already asked them what they wanna be blessed with, and then using your own language, bless them. Brief language. Brief, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, any Baptists, don't do that thing where you go on and on and on. Just, just do it quick, and then you'll switch. You got it? All right, if you can stand up, it's a little easier, but maybe it's hard to stand here, so just twist. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos, everyone. Peace be with you. Thank you, Rami. Thank you, Mirabai.